everybody. I hope you're telling others about this podcast and getting them to tune in sometime or other during the week. Uh, I've been wondering exactly what to do with the five minutes. You think I'd know that by now, but uh, you know, I I love telling the jokes, which I will share with you. I enjoy keeping you up to date as far as what's going on in the parish. If you're a parishioner, at least you would be interested and. Above all, I'd like to preach the gospel. So I think each podcast uh, I'll start out with the gospel for the coming Sunday and make a few comments on it and then get to a couple of other extraneous things. Uh, Our gospel for Sunday coming up is Luke chapter 12, verses 13 to 21. I'm not going to read the whole gospel because that alone takes a minute or so you can read it but it's it's the story about a guy coming to Jesus and asking him to have his bro- brother settle uh, with uh, himself regarding an inheritance a family inheritance and Jesus says who appointed me your judge your arbiter your lawyer uh, in other words Jesus is saying I'm not interested in that stuff why are you coming to me for it And then Jesus tells a story about the wealthy man who had crops that were really, really producing. And he says, what am I going to do? My barns are too small. I'll build bigger ones, he says. And then I'll harvest and fill those new barns. And I won't have to worry about anything for a long time to come. And Jesus uses a very strong expression regarding that rich man's um, uh, decision. He says, you fool. Tonight you're going to, basically what he says, is tonight you're going to die. Well, where's all that stuff going? I don't know if I've shared that with you before, but the, uh, the concern uh, for us as believers is that we be generous to God's favorite people. And you know who his favorites are? It's the poor people the ones who need. So if we have more than what we need, we're supposed to be sharing what we have, okay? In other words, the expression is, you take to heaven what you've given away here on earth. Um, That's a very provoking thought as as far as I'm concerned. So we're supposed to keep giving, 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 and I will say, and you know this with your head, I don't know if you know it with your heart yet, that God certainly outgives the giver. He's never, if you're generous to his people, he is never going to cut you short by any means. So that's the good news. Our parking lot is coming along fine. Um, As I may have told you, we found out we didn't have much plumbing underneath it, so we had to put in a lot of Um, drains and so on and we're getting very close to now addressing having to work on only the top of the lot and that will take far less time than um, than the tasks up to date have taken so we should be coming along pretty quickly uh, with that with that parking lot Uh, one to let you know we're going to have a block party Uh, the church is August I think August 21st. Thank you, Scott, behind the camera. Uh, It's going to be out in front of church, uh, as far as we know. We're going to be blocking off Lynn Street. So invite anybody to come, but we'd like our neighbors to be coming especially. Uh, So if you know anybody in the hood, please invite them. Okay, now I want to share, always have a, a joke to share with you or more. Sometimes I want to do a whole podcast with the jokes, but not today. Um, It's true. I was at a wedding last week. This is true. And it was very emotional. And besides being hot that weekend, we were all sweating. Uh, But the wedding is is humid and everybody is getting emotional. In fact, the whole thing was so emotional, the wedding cake was in tears. Don't you like that? Oh, I thought that was really good. Okay, and did you hear about the crazy pancake? 
just flipped. Bye. <laughs>